Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back after a very long time to Stonehearth with me, Lathrix. The last time I played this was several months ago, back when the game was still in Alpha 10.5. But now we are in Alpha 13, a lot of bugs have been fixed, and apparently it's a much smoother experience. I was going to wait a little bit longer, as Alpha 14 is just around the corner however every time I've tried to play this game it always seems like there's something about to be released so I've just started now and if the next update is really amazing which it does look like it's going to be I could always restart our village it's not a game that really takes too much time to actually set up or to progress in so what is the game for people new to this series as I did do a small series like I say several months ago but I'm going into this again with rather a fresh outlook on things as I haven't seen a lot of the changes as I like to learn things by simply playing rather than looking up guides or looking up patch notes and such so Stonehearth is a game based around sim management I guess you would say you have to take control of a little village of these lovely fellows and make sure they survive in all sorts of adversity things like goblins trying to kill you dire wolves general starvation all that good stuff which is normally in a village sort of simulation later. So let's just get started then. Alpha 13, a new game. Choose your adventure. This is the story of a brand, a brave band of settlers from the Ascendancy. Earnest and hardworking, loyal and well-rounded. Citizens of the Ascendancy chop, build and farm, confident that the known world is theirs to inhabit. We also have Raya's children. The people of the desert learned early that to survive they needed each other, and preferably as many others as they could reach. Now visitors find them generous hosts with access to goods from all over the world. I don't know about you guys, but it sounds like Raya's children are far more interesting and kind of look like the Avatar, so let's go with those. Raya's Children, a society of charming, wily traders. Seeking new lands and adventure, they set off to... So all of this is new, by the way. The last time I played this, none of this was in the game. The desert and temperate... You see, normally... The temperate place is the place you get. There wasn't really a choice. I'd like to see desert then. Dry and sandy, with chunky hills and sparse vegetation. Default home of Raya's children. The desert of Palmum. Select difficulty, normal or peaceful, of course we'll go with normal, so there is indeed enemies. A location that is sure to be an inspiring place to start anew. Begin! Okay, now we can roll these, and all of these do different things, and wow, finally, they actually have tooltips on these things, so it actually tells you what they do. Before, the first time I played, when I did my first impressions, first look, it didn't tell you what any of these were, not even the name of them, so I was just like, Book, heart, thing. So, spirit, faith in other people. A high spirit halfling, oh, that's what they're called, halflings, I remember now. Will easily befriend others and stand strong against enemies. Influences courage, willpower, and compassion. If you want a warrior, you want someone with high spirit and high body. If you want, I think the mind, actually let's just read it, the ability to think intelligently. A high mind stat allows a halfling to exceed in complex mental tasks. Influences diligence, curiosity, and inventiveness. I think that's how fast they learn a certain craft. So basically non-fighting, you want mind and body, rather than spirit and body. Now, I'd like at least one soldier in our group, and, and six is the maximum. Ideally, a 666 would be the perfect person, which is a little bit demonic, I admit. However, I want to s I do want to see at least one 65, so... There we go. Bassid Sarnis. I'm going to call you Stabby, so I actually remember you are our soldier. <laughs> there we go. Stabby! Stabby McStabs is going to be his name. McStabs, of the McStabs clan. You will be our soldier, and all the rest can just be all the rest. Now, the last time I also fell into the trap of picking multiple things. The trapper's knife is one of the first things which requires metal, which does take a little while to get, so I couldn't get that for quite some time. So, I want the trapper's knife. And embark. Loading our map. Whoa, yep, there is no vegetation whatsoever in this world. Good amount of minerals, though. 
I want to go somewhere near water. How about having an edge? That'll probably make us a bit easier to protect. I'm not sure if enemies spawn in from the edges, though. Maybe here, this like a little cove area. Yeah, I like it here. It has vegetation, it has wildlife, and it has minerals. Let's choose here, then. Settle here. Build pens around your pastures to make sure shepherd animals stay put. I didn't do that last time. It was rather stupid of me. Saying that, I made a lot of mistakes last time, I'll be the first to admit. Ooh, okay. Oh, look! It's on the rabbits. So, what do we want? What are you? So, here's the cove, I suppose. Where's the end of the world, then? Where's the world border? Ooh, you can do this now. Okay, there's the world border. I would like somewhere which is easy to protect. So, having it like... Oh, I would like our city hall if we have like a town hall here. So, I'd like to build in this little covey area. So, put that there. Name your settlement. East Sahanin. Okay, I can't pronounce that. I'm probably insulted at least three different cultures. We all know what is going to be called. It is Lathsburg. Okay, we pause time. What's the hotkey? Key is one, okay. So, what are we doing? What are we doing indeed? This has been quite a while. Ooh, things. Ooh, a potter. That's something new. I haven't seen this before. In honour of steadfast efforts and resilience, we hereby advance her name to be a potter. So, what do potters do? Makes useful goods from clay. Oh, clay you can get from the dirt. I know that. Okay. Well, for now, though, we do want farmers. Which means we're going to need a farmer's hoe, which means we're going to need a carpenter. Which means it needs a carpenter saw from the blacksmith, which needs a blacksmith's hammer from the mason. So we need a potter then. So that's the first thing we need. we need. I want a potter and a trapper. So, okay, Basid Tolem? Great. I've, I've chosen the faction, in which I can't pronounce any of the names. You are going to be our trapper. Okay. And you there, you can be our... I could look at their stats and try and figure out the best for, for the best position, but right now, this is how I'm going to do it. You're going to be a potter. Okay. So, let's uh, make our angle a bit better. Oh, look, gold. Excellent. So, what I want, then, is to harvest everything I see. I need some wood. I need pretty much everything. So, harvest and give... Oh, wait, no. Harvest tree... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Grab a gather trees. That's what I wanted to see. I thought I was doing something even more wrong than usual. Oh, cool. I can even gather the plants. Maybe that counts as food. I don't really know. Crafters. Can't we do anything yet? Zones. Okay. Requires a trapper, and that, and he will soon upgrade. Stockpile will go in this corner here. This will be the stockpile corner, because I can. And I think you can merge stockpiles, can't you? I just can't remember how. How do you merge stockpiles? I'll, I will look up that afterwards. Right now, I just want to set up the basics. So that's our stockpile. It'll hold everything for now. Okay, all is good. And you can unpause. Now, hopefully, they'll upgrade into what I want them to be soon. Okay, the sword's been put down. Sorry, the trapper's knife has been put down, which means our trapper should, shoot, should soon grab that. And then we can put down an area to trap animals. Da 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 da. Well done! You're a trapper. Fantastic. So, where do I want to trap animals? I would say a little bit further away from the village. Somewhere like here. Here looks like a good area. This land is yours! Use it wisely. And that will get us furs and meat. Which we can cook later, soon to make a chef. Okay. Potter craft menu. Ooh, wow. Lots of stuff. So, we want... A potter's wheel helps the potter create simple items from clay and a potter's kiln, which requires clay and, believe it or not, clay. Now, clay, if I am correct, because someone told me about this, is found by simply digging out dirt, the floor. So let's just dig there, guys. Workers who are just free and not doing anything, here's some spikes for you to do stuff. Yes, work, my minions, work! Is that cow's dirt? It must do, otherwise there's no way to get clay in this world. Do you automatically pick stuff up? I can't actually remember. Yes, you do. Okay, you've got a chunk of stone and bundle fibers. No, maybe that's just from the, from the area around us. Aha! We found our first bit of clay. Excellent, excellent. Oh, 
Oh, I see, so it's a 4x4 four by, four by default. That's pretty cool. But if I wanted to do single blocks, okay, so I can make a little Y out of here. Which is what I want. And a really long staircase there to get back out. We can actually make stairs in this game. I just kind of want a natural staircase. Oh, wow, they did it by themselves now. Go you guys. You've massively increased in, in intellect since the last time we met. Oop, just stop, 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 stop. Traders is always, sorry, their traders are always looking for a new place to rest between routes. We're pleased to see you out here, friends. We'll be back with the store tomorrow, but in the meantime, have a sample of our goods. Cool, thank you very much, Honored Elder. We have food! We have free food, fantastic. I wonder how the trappings go. Oh, we've trapped something. We've trapped a raccoon. Excellent. Food. We'll be eating something tonight, I suppose. Once again, if I'm making mistakes, I do apologise. I haven't played this game for a very, very, very long time, but also, I just haven't been able to really um, look up any of the stuff. Okay, so we, we want the potter's wheel, yes? Yes. Make me a potter's wheel, please, and make me a kiln. And go. It seems like he can make it anywhere. Normally, you have to actually select a stand. Which one was our, our mason, anyway? Ah, you're the potter there. Well, good to see it's still a little bit buggy when it comes to trying to put stuff down. Oh, but we do have the pottery wheel now. Excellent. And I would like that. Let's just put it here for now. We don't, we don't really have any space for it. We don't really have enough stuff to really start any buildings, but even so. Got a lot of clay. And we're already going to run out of stockpile space at this rate. Okay, we have that down. The pottery wheel. Show workshop. There's the workshop for it. And I also want the potter's kiln to be down. Have we already put... Have we already made the kiln? I can't see if we have. Yes, we have. We literally just made it. Okay. There's definitely a way to look these up as well. It's in the basic stats you can find. So, I'll be doing that in the future as well. Ooh, does that fit there? Excellent. Okay. Unpause. Put it down. And let's see what, what you can actually make. So, I can get all the basic stuff sorted. You're not trapped in there. Yep, you are. Okay, I see why. So apparently when I said their intellect has increased, it has. However, they can still trap themselves very easily. And that should let them get out. Yes, there we go. The natural staircase is now working. Fantastic. So we have the potter's kiln, and we have our little workbench, which means if we pause again... We can start doing stuff. So, the mason's clay chisel. The potter uses clay to bind wood and stone. However, we need a potter of level 2 to do this, so let's just start making other stuff for now then. We can have furniture. Oh, beds! Beds are good! Yes, beds are very good. We do need these, so make six of those, please. Since it only, ma since it only uses clay, that's pretty easy. Uh, sure, some chairs as well, because we start making houses, and it, again, once again, only uses clay, and we do want the mason's chisel very soon, because I would like to upgrade them. Ah, lovely people. Hello. How are you, potter? To a mason. You need to be a level 2 potter and, a, and have a mason's chisel ready. So, we need to upgrade her to become a mason, so that we can make all the other stuff, which is everywhere, like the blacksmith's hammer, so we can make a saw, so we can get the farming stuff, and everything else. So, carry on with what you are doing. In fact, while you're doing that, because currently we have quite a few people doing absolutely nothing right now, I would like to try and get some stone, so... Let's dig a tunnel into there. All the way back to here. There we go. And they'll dig that out for us. Thank you very much. And then place building. Now, we do have the defaults. However, we can make our own buildings later. But for now, just for now, we're going to just put down a couple of little clay houses because that's a lot easier. We can rotate them as well. Uh, where do we want them? Okay, that's where the dining hall's going to go. So I'm going to put them in this little corner here. I think that'd be very cute. One there. However, 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 I'm actually going to cancel this, if possible. Remove. Just because I've had bad experiences with putting things right up against things in the past. So instead, we're going to make sure we have at least a one gap on all sides. Because, like I say, the last time I played this, it was... 
it's still an alpha game. It wasn't terrible. It was just a little bit laggy. It was not, not laggy, a little bit buggy. So, like, if you had it right up against the wall, it could bug out. There's a few things. Ooh, clay bricks. Okay, so we need six clay bricks, two window frames, a lot of stuff we need. So let's just start from the start then. Six of these. Okay. Then what else do we need? Let's check this again. Oh, that's what I should play, okay. Um, two frames and one of the latticed. Lattice, rather. Okay, two of those. And one of the lattice, which I can't actually see. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. And we need a, uh, we need it to be at least level one. So, so we'll do that one last. She'll definitely level up after doing all of this. In fact, what I might do is take away some of the bed orders. Uh, no, I still want six because I, because I'm going to do a lot more of this. Plus, it's just making her level a lot easier. One clay bed and then one clay door. We'll do the window thing last. Okay, that makes sense to me at least. And please make the door. Continue on your merry way, my little halflings. Oh, they're so cute. They are very cute. I do love the style of this. It reminds me very much of Cube World once that was first released. At least when I first started playing, I should say. We do have a little bit of food. We haven't got a cook yet, though. I was about to say, what's our trapper doing? Um, do you have anything in your inventory now? Since you're over here right now. You do! You have fox... Oh no, you have fox jerky! When did you get a fox? Well, food is food. Yeah, there we go. And so, let's make the lattice as well. Oh, look at her smelting away. So far, everything is a lot smoother than the last time I tried to play, I will admit. So, with this, what else do we need? Is that it? Is that all we need? We just need some wood logs, but only one. Probably for something on the inside. Oh no, for these beams on the top, okay. We definitely have that already, don't we? Yeah, we do, okay. Okay. Do I want another building, perhaps? Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice looking building. We'll put it on, on the corner, but for now we'll make another one of these. No, we'll, we, we will wait until the first one is finished. And we also need more stockpile. We definitely need more stockpile. We'll sort out like a fence for this later. It's also good to have several stockpiles I found just because you can actually set them to only hold certain things. So you could have a stone stockpile and a something else stockpile, all sorts of stuff like that. Very, very easily. Ah, lovely and warm. And honestly, we've got quite a bit of stone now, so that's pretty darn good. Need a bit more wood though, so I would like to chop down this tree. If at all possible, please. Thank you. Do you need builders' hammers, or can they just build? I can't remember. We're still waiting for for all the beds to be complete, though. First, once the beds are complete, you can start making the other stuff. And it's that stuff which is important for the actual building itself. That was quick. Got to admit, that was pretty efficient. I wonder if these are food. No, that's just tumbleweed. Oh, that's for fibers. Okay, we can actually farm those later if we so desire. How about these little cactuses, though, with the pears? Yes, 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 okay. Oh, I love prickly pears. Actually, prickly pears are like, like one of my all-time favorite fruits, so I'm very, very happy with that. Level 2 potter, fantastic. I won't upgrade her yet, though, because I think we're still going to need a potter in addition to the mason. I imagine. I don't know if a potter and a mason can make different things. Maybe I should have another trapper. Oh wait, I can't, can I? I can't make anything yet. I'm just waiting for this to upgrade. It's probably more I could be doing right now, but I just like it, I just like it being simple. Since, since I can figure out what to do. Plus, these will start harvesting later on when it's daytime again. Oh, our poor potter's just working constantly. Well done. We have bricks, excellent. Uh, do I want to change the colour of anything? No, I like it as it's just default. Again, for now, if we're going to build it default, might as well build it like that. And yes, start building, that's what I needed to do. And it'll all go fantastically. The reason why I waited is, like I said, until we have some of the materials. Once again, this is just from my experience in the last alpha, where it was a little bit buggy. 
Oh, people got really tired suddenly, and you're sleeping in the work environment. But yeah, if I didn't have all the resources, they started building really weirdly, and then they couldn't go to the place they needed to. I'm sure that's been fixed by now, by the way. I'm sure it has. So I shouldn't do that, but it's, it's, it's now, it's like ingrained in me to try and work around bugs, which probably don't exist anymore. Aw, they're all asleep. Night, night, Lathsburg. Enjoy your slumber. Groggy. Hard night to sleep on the ground, lower speed by 25%. Okay. Daily update. We haven't met all these things, so we don't get a new person. Which is good, honestly, because I don't want a new person just yet. We don't have enough food to make sure everyone's okay. Food will come as soon as I can actually make um, a farm. Which, honestly, we should be looking... Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll make... Once she's done with all that, we'll make a... Mason's clay chisel. Then we'll turn her, her into a stone mason. And if she can still build all this stuff, we'll just leave it like that. If we can't, then we'll make a new mason. We have zero gold. I'm afraid. We could sell stuff. Pause. Right now, we don't need quite... I mean, we could sell some clay to try and get some food. We'd have to sell quite a lot, though. I think it's worth it just for now, just to make sure we've got some food. Okay, continue. We could be clay miners. I will mine out this entire desert. Oh wow, that looks awesome. I want to be on top of there. <laughs> be distracted there. Oh, on top of here. That's really flat. That's really cool. I could have started up there. It would have been very difficult, but... Actually, I don't know. I don't even know if you can put your starter building there. That's it. Work. Work, my minions. How far have you came along with the building? Before the end of the episode, I want to make my first mason. My first mason must be made. Oh good, you've made the lattice window. Excellent. We're okay for logs. For now. Oh wait, oh excellent, she's now making the tools. Which means now you, my dear, can be upgraded into a mason. Approved! Can I still make all this? I can, fanta- Oh, no, I need a potter. I do need a potter. So, who is going to become a potter then? Um, you're a trapper. You're our only source of food right now. I don't think you can eat the jerky raw, can you? Oh, wait, it's jerky. It's not like it's raw, is it? It's already jerky. Well, jerky can be raw. You get the idea. It's been treated or done something with in some way. Okay, then. No, no, not Stabby McStab. You are a warrior for later. Hello, you can be our new potter. So, we now have a mason. We now have a mason. So, that means what we can do is craft our mason workbench. Which then will allow us to do a blacksmith's hammer, which will then allow us to make a carpenter's saw. I need copper ore for that, okay. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, I need level 3 mason for that, but it looks really, really cool. Yeah, we need to really upgrade the mason as soon as we've got him. So what can I do? We could have some... St Ooh, stone chest. Oh, I love chests. Chests are so much better than the stockpiles. I do like the braziers, or braziers. Okay, there's a lot of stuff, but let's wait until we actually have the blacksmith sorted. So rather, let's wait until she's upgraded into a mason. Oh, sure it is. Okay, I did not realize that. So I need, I needed the workbench. Did you just make the workbench? Pause. Yes, she did. Okay, so now we have the mason's workbench. Once again, we'll just put it over here for now until we have a building dedicated for it. Oh, we're getting close to building our first building as well, which is glorious. And play. Wait until the mason's workbench is down. We'll start making some stuff to level her up, and then everything will go perfectly. We need more wood again. There's not much wood in this world. Oh, actually, look at that over there. Okay, yep, uh, when you can, guys. Oh, you can't get to this. It's on a raised platform. I didn't even realize. Didn't even realize. Just harvest all of this, guys, when you're not busy. 
Okay, we have the Mason's workbench down, which means we can start building stuff. So what do I want? I would like a fence as well, just go like fences, but for now, let's just make things to put everywhere. Not a chair, the bird bath. Can't build that just yet, just pause for a second if possible. Can't make anything really. Ah, we, I'd also like a cook, very soon. Here's a lot of stuff we need. Okay, so for now then, make a couple of stone benches, make bird baths, all that kind of stuff. Make three bird baths and make four stone benches. There's nothing else we can really make right now, is there? No, okay. So we just wait until that's leveled. Okay, since our potter is low level, we need to level him up. So, start making stuff for the next house. We needed a door. We needed two of the windows. We've already got the bed, so that's fine. We needed six bricks. We didn't really need either of these, although they are very, very cool. Don't need any of this either. Okay, and that's pretty much all we needed, wasn't it, for the house? We could just keep making some more bricks, honestly. I mean, we are going to keep on using them for like, all eternity, so here. And continue on, which means we are going to need somewhere to get more clay, though. And this is how we should have actually mined the... Okay, we're not going to mine there, because that's too intrusive on our land. We'll just cancel that. Cancel task. How do you cancel a task? I've completely forgot. Oh, okay, that's how we do it. Okay, we've learned the lesson there. So for this, I would like this to extend then, I suppose. Oh, we could actually just do, do the mining tool here, couldn't we? Because we've already gone that far down. There we are. And that'll hopefully get us some more clay. Continue on. So we're harvesting trees from there, getting clay from there. We're, we're now mass producing stuff for houses. So we can build a couple more. What are we currently waiting for here? Exactly. What are we waiting for? Wood log. Is it just regular wood log we're waiting for? Is that the problem? No, we have that. So we have oak log, which I guess is the same. So why are we waiting then? What haven't we got? Wood log, cry, cry bricks, lattice. Did I even? Did I not make the lattice window frame? I'm fairly certain I did. Also, the door is on the back. Oh. We've built this backwards, guys. We've built this backwards. I am a genius. But yeah, why am I waiting there? Okay, yeah, the lattice is not in, so we obviously don't have a lattice. Okay. I could have sworn I saw the door on the other side. On the upside, he's going to make one soon. As soon as he can level up enough, so... And let's cancel these. There we go. Oh, they are continuing now. Oh, was they waiting for the door? Did, did, did the door never get crafted? Or perhaps they were just being slow? I have a lot to learn about this game, guys. I do apologise, but it is a learning experience. Like, for instance, build the house the other... Sorry, build the door the other side is probably a good idea. That will forever be known as Backwards House. Unless I carve out this entire area and make it a new place. Let's try and put another one down. Oh, I see what I did. I thought that window was a door. Darn it. Yeah, there we go. That's how it should have been. That's how it should have been. Oh, I see what I did wrong there. Either way, soon this will be completed and I could always just demolish it and put it the other way around. I wonder how many people were screaming at me to say, Lathrix, wrong way around, guys. Let's just have the house built, then I'll probably end the episode in shame. Also, okay, so that's how we cancel tasks. Like that. Okay. I'm learning pretty quickly, though. I'm learning pretty quickly, to my minimal, minimal credit. You know what I'm going to have to do, don't you? I'm going to have to carve out this area to make it look special, <laughs> eventually. Whoever lives there, you have the most special of houses. Okay, build a new clay door and everything. Just basically, like I said, build everything we're going to need in the future, like loads of those. Don't know why I didn't just rank that up, but there we go. And continue our mining operations. Ooh, we can actually... Oh, excellent! We can just mine like this. 
No need to actually destroy the surface. For now. For now. Oh, the house is finished. The upside, sorry, the back to front house is completed. Probably what I'm going to call this episode, honestly. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favorite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Stone Hearth is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we'll probably be attacked by enemies. We'll hopefully get some more of our crafting sorted and we can start mass producing houses hopefully not back to front houses for our lovely little halflings as for now they're kind of just sleeping on the sand of the desert thank you so much for watching and goodbye